There is a billion dollar company in Houston that has revolutionized its world, and no, it is not related to oil and gas. And if you think that's interesting, wait until you hear how it was funded with just an American dream and a few hundred dollars. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica Willie has a closer look at this billion dollar business and the man who built it. In case the red Lamborghini doesn't give it away, Farouk Shami is flashy, flamboyant, and not afraid to brag a little. I'm not. I'm proud. <laughs> Why should I be? <laughs> he has become accustomed to this lifestyle. How much would you say you're worth? Um, when I go to the stock market, I will be worth about $3 billion. That makes me the richest hairdresser in the history. From hairdresser to hair care king, Farouk now oversees an empire based in North Houston that bears his name. His warehouse is stocked full, a factory that rarely stops, and a claim on a product that has revolutionized his industry. Everybody knows G more or less, you know. But in case you don't, it was the first ceramic flat iron for hair that uses both infrared and ionic technology. He has the patent, but there are now many imitations. Well, it's the only iron that really works so well. And it's Farouk's the first. is truly it's a rags to riches story. The Palestinian immigrant came to America for college. His goal was to study education and follow in the footsteps of his father, who was a teacher. But along the way, a part time job as a hairdresser to pay for school became full time. Teaching was out, hair was in. I enjoyed the art of it and the people, loving people and being with people. In 1981, Farouk opened his own salon in North Houston. He was a well-known colorist, but allergic to the ammonia-based products he had to use. So Farouk developed his own products, and soon a distributor came a-calling. In a time when Houston's oil industry was hitting rock bottom, Farouk's company was taking off. I started making products for 1,000, and the 1,000 makes 2,000, and the 2,000 made 4,000, and you keep going till you get to, you know, the high millions. Today, BioSilk and Chi products and tools are his signature. Everything from $40 bottles of silk therapy treatment. So we have capabilities of doing over a million bottles a day here. So it's like printing money, did you say? I think this is faster than bringing, printing money. To $300 blow dryers. There are thousands in his warehouses. <laughs> Worth so much, they're protected by double security. This is a new packaging, actually. For we it. caught up with Farouk on a rare day he was in town. He has homes in Jerusalem, Jordan, and the Woodlands. He has warehouses in Belgium, South Korea, and the Middle East. His products are sold in 92 countries. Farouk still supports his Palestinian heritage, but has been a U.S. citizen for 43 years and is a true Texan all the way down to his signature red boots. 42 pairs of red only. He says red gives off energy. It is the color of his T-shirts, Chi logo, and of course, that sports car. It is a symbol of his success. I always loved America. This is a country with no limits. A symbol of his American dream come true. In North Houston, Jessica Willie, 13 Eyewitness News. Well, why didn't I think of that stuff? Well, Farouk is 65, but not retiring anytime soon. He says success and challenges drive him. The next big product he and his team of researchers are working on is a blow dryer that can grow hair at the same time. Of course it can. After a perfect landing in Florida today, the crew of the Space Shuttle Discovery resting up now before heading back to Texas. Shuttle landed just afternoon today at the Kennedy Space Center. Crew spent 15 days in space, pulled off one of NASA's most difficult spacewalks. They had to put together an emergency spacewalk to repair a torn solar panel. Crew also delivered a new U.S. module and a new crew member to the International Space Station. Let's talk weather now with Tim Heller. I'm wondering if we're going to need some jackets for those kids on the way to school tomorrow. Yeah, I think you might need the jacket tomorrow morning, but then put it away again because temperature is going to be going back up as we get into the weekend. Humidity will be coming back as well the closer the weekend gets. Now tonight, though, it'll be cool. Back down into the 40s in many spots, down about 50.